The Osceola County Sheriff's Office is asking for parents of any children who may have been victims of sexual battery to come forward after a 40-year-old man was allegedly found in bed with a 10-year-old boy. West News' Megan Mulatto is joining us live from the Sheriff's Office this evening. And Mer Megan, the Sheriff's Office says that someone found the two of them together. Yeah, that's exactly right. We spoke to Osceola County Sheriff Marco Lopez. He tells us this all happened behind closed doors, but inside of a home where many other people, including other children, were staying. So in this particular case, you know, we really need your help. We want you to look at his face. This is 40 year old William Osceola. He's being charged for sexual battery with a victim under 12 years old after he was allegedly found with a 10 year old boy over the weekend. Osceola County Sheriff Marco Lopez says someone else at the home walked in on them. And when they came in and they caught them both um, with their pants down and genitals exposed, um, he was confronted and he immediately left. Sheriff Lopez says after being confronted, Osceola left the home but was found and arrested Sunday. The person who found them is the one who called the sheriff's office. Detectives then started doing interviews. But upon interviewing the victim is what, um, how we came to discover that it was a sexual battery of a child. He says detectives also spoke with other people who were at the home, including other children. They're now asking for anyone else who may have been a victim to come forward. This can't be this guy's first rodeo, you know? If, when, when people like this do things, look at them, you know? You, you never know, um, is it his first time, second time, hundredth time? But if people don't come forward, you know, you're never gonna be able to get justice for kids. According to court records, Osceola had his first appearance before a judge on Monday. He's currently being held at the Osceola County Jail. We're live in Osceola County. Megan Mulatto, West 2 News.